Hey everybody, thanks for checking out my latest video. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video and discuss what uh, I would consider the best language to learn in 2022. And this is if you're a beginner or e even if you know other languages, if it doesn't happen to be this one, obviously. If it's this one, well then great, you've learned it. You, you're good for this year. You can take a break. But uh, otherwise, yeah, I think this is a good one to learn and even if you're a beginner. So um, for those of you who are familiar with my channel, this might not be so much of a surprise, but I actually did a video somewhat like this called uh, The Best Programming Language to Learn First in 2021. That one was a little more beginner focused. As you can see from my pointing and my lack of beard, that was uh, when I picked TypeScript back then. Uh, how foolish I was. Uh, totally changed my mind. This year what I've decided on is TypeScript, actually. Yeah, just kidding. So sticking with TypeScript, honestly, uh, I feel like you can't go wrong with it. And I know the case, the, the, my argument last time, um, I tried to make a bit of a case for it last time, I guess, was the idea. Basically, JavaScript is considered one of the, the head honcho ones, I would say. That's, that's the one everybody suggests. They suggest JavaScript or Python or... Those are the two main ones, honestly. Those are the, those are usually at the top of everybody's list. And my mentality with this is that TypeScript, essentially, if we start getting into some of the details here, I have some other things I wanted to... I have some documents. So this is TypeScript, basically. TypeScriptLang.org, made by Microsoft Language. Basically, it's... If you learn this, you know JavaScript. You can take a file, a JavaScript file, .js, change it to .ts, now you got a TypeScript file. Basically, you just have a TypeScript file where you haven't done the types. But doing the types isn't a necessity to using TypeScript. It's something you can kind of learn along the way. Uh, and as you'll see here, they say TypeScript is JavaScript with just syntax for types. And they'll tell you you can get very basic into it. You can start with something, say a simple example like this, where you have something like this in JavaScript. And it's it's not going to tell you there's problems, but there's actually quite a few problems with it. First one being that the o -R -R, o -R -R should be ARR. Um, Trim wasn't part of an array, but I didn't even know it was an array that you were trying to use there at the time because you didn't have types on it. But then you see with the sim something simple like TypeScript, you just add this little piece right there, and that makes it TypeScript, essentially, or that adds some power to it for TypeScript. But even without that, you could still call that valid TypeScript. And it's just something that you can kind of uh, piecemeal approach. There's a lot of good information on it out there. Uh, and if you if you look at the kind of the... The surveys, the, some of the best surveys out there, this is one of the best ones, the 2021 Developer Survey from Stack Overflow. If you look at what they say for technology, most popular technology, I don't know if that's necessarily the best way to go, but if you look at most popular, you'll see JavaScript is essentially the most popular. And again, if I see JavaScript, I'm saying, hey, that's TypeScript. That's a win for TypeScript to me. Now, there is there is a different section here for TypeScript, but I would almost just say that these people just haven't converted so you take this 30% and this 64%, essentially we got 95% of the market. Uh, you look at most loved languages here. What do we got here again? TypeScript here in this case is near the top. No, even before JavaScript, I guess. Yeah, JavaScript's down here. It's actually less loved. So you see the popularity of TypeScript in that way. So if you like JavaScript, you probably want to move in that direction anyways. Uh, and then when you get into the idea of, of JavaScript and you look at something like another one of these surveys, the state of JS, they call this. This is another popular one, and if you look at the, the technologies under JavaScript flavors, you'll see that TypeScript has kind of been the most popular for quite a few years running, and it's it's uh, for a reason. It, it's pretty popular, I would say. It's pretty great. Um, I, I'm a bit of an advocate for it myself, I would say, and I think it's something that even beginners should pick up. Uh, another reason why JavaScript in general, why people say JavaScript is because you, you make something in JavaScript and right away you could send somebody a link or someone could go view it on a website. It's not like, oh, here's a .py Python file. Just go install Python on your computer, open a command terminal, run this. You know, there's there's just a lot more steps required versus something like a, a JavaScript or a TypeScript. There's still tooling you're going to have to learn. There's very few languages where you, where you are going to just jump in. There's some where you can just jump in and get something running within a few seconds. But typically, that's not the case. And probably I would make the argument for JavaScript being the best one. I mean, if you're watching YouTube on a PC right now, you press F12 to open up developer tools. You go to the console tab. Anything you type in there, you can type in valid JavaScript there. And you can essentially play with JavaScript right there. So just that quickly, you can start learning the language. And you essentially have a little playground you can work with. Uh, and for that reason, I, I recommend JavaScript as the best language. But 
I, I have to give you that caveat that I say if you're going when if you're gonna learn, just start with TypeScript because you're you're getting all that extra stuff in between. I mean, I guess you I, I would say start with TypeScript, but in in the most stripped down form. So you essentially are starting with JavaScript, but you've got the TypeScript tooling, so you get a little familiarity with that. It's not gonna overwhelm you. It's very simple, and and then as you start seeing the value of types, you'll you'll want to add them in there. And to try to explain the value of types and just the static type system languages. And I believe JavaScript calls itself strongly typed, which, it, yeah, here we go. Strongly typed programming language. Let me just uh, show you what I'm showing here. Strongly typed programming language. So they also claim the same. And essentially what they're saying is they give you the power to say, when you give a, make a variable, you can say, this is a number or this is an array of numbers. This is an array of, this is an object where the key is a number and the value is another object that looks like this. And essentially it allows you this power to define what the things are you're working with, like the, the Lego blocks. You don't just have a bunch of gray Lego blocks and, and it's not just you know what they are. Oh yeah, that's, that's this, that's that. No, you have a much more power to actually specify these things. And at first you think, okay, why would I want more code? And I, I thought that for many years and I actually avoided TypeScript. But once you get into it, it really just does give you a lot more power. So. Um, it, it's more code, but it's it's for the best. It's it's like saying, why would you want to have a a glossary or references in books or something? You know, these these things are of value, and you're going to find value in them as soon as you try to figure out, well, what's this? Where am I? And, and you you have something like with the most code editors will have some kind of uh, like an IntelliSense. In the case of VS Code, uh, I think Visual Studio has something similar, to calling it that, where essentially the more information you put in the code, the more the editor can tell you to help you with further lines of code. It can say, oh, you want to work with that? Well, I know I know the structure of that. So here's what you can do with it. And, and that's really valuable. And that's going to make it easier for you to code in the long run if, if you give the computer a little more information. And essentially, that's what you get with these types is you get this at the build time before you've kind of put it, built it all uh, and sent it out before that build, before that time. Uh, when you're developing, you can catch these problems and you can get this help. So anyways, I've rambled on enough. Start with TypeScript. You got to learn it. It's the it's the best. And yeah, that's the end of my video. I just wanted to kind of tell, tell you everybody. So if you like this video, throw me a like. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, criticisms, disagreements, agreements, whatever the in-between version of that is, please throw them in the in YouTube uh, comments or or track me down through some kind of messaging system and Give me some feedback and, and I'll bring it along. And if you like my videos, you like what I'm doing, that kind of thing, please feel free to subscribe. It, it helps me, it motivates me, and you'll get caught up in all the interesting stuff I'm trying to post. So thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.